Hey everybody, Anne here, and I'm just sitting here still in my jammies, having my coffee as always with all of you. And I was tagged in the Get to Know Me tag by Ghetto Van Adventures, so I'm going to go ahead and get this video started by answering these questions. Okay, first one. What is your name and who named you? My name is Anne Marie, and I think my mom picked my name. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Well, there were four others in all. Uh, my oldest sister, Cindy, passed away last March. Not this past March, but March a year ago. <clears throat> uh, my second oldest sister, Annette, died when she was a baby. Um, my third oldest sister, Lori. Hi, Lori, if you're watching. She's still alive and well, thank goodness. Um, and then, then, then there came me and then my brother, Doug. Um, he passed away back in 2011 in a car accident. So now I only have one remaining sibling left. Um, let's see. Were you close with any of your cousins growing up? No, because they all lived in Nebraska and Colorado and whatnot. But we did get to visit every now and again. And we got into some trouble. All of us. I just love my cousins. They're awesome. But I didn't really get to hang out with them that much because I was born and raised in California. Okay, uh, number four, do you have or did you have a special bond with your grandparents? Not really for the same reasons because they were in Nebraska. Well, my, my grandpa on my dad's side I never got to meet because he, um, he passed away when my, my dad was only a couple years old. So, Number five, did you enjoy high school? Absolutely, I did. I loved it. Like I said, I was born and raised in California. That's when the toga part of the thing was really big. Um, Saturday Night Live was actually funny. Um, I had a lot of fun going to sporting events. Um, I, was, I was a weird kid, you know. I was kind of like I didn't fit in anywhere, but I did a lot of things. I was in band. I um, ran track. I played basketball. I was on the swim team. Um, I was terrible at basketball, but uh, I had some good times in high school, so yeah. All right, number six, what are your hobbies? Basically, my hobbies are doing projects around the homestead, um, planting, building little things <laughs> that are kind of janky and whatnot. I love to cook. I love to make wine, um, and I like to make YouTube videos, so there. Number seven, what do you do to relieve stress? I get out and do all my hobbies, basically. Um, cooking, um, planting, growing, or just walking around my property and exploring things. All right. Number eight, who was the longest friend you had? The longest friend I had, and she's now deceased, um, was about 10 years. Um, so she passed away of cancer. and Okay. Number nine, what is your favorite movie? Ooh, um, I would probably say Fried Green Tomatoes. Love that movie. Always have. I love all kinds of movies, but um, that's one that I always go to when I'm feeling, I don't know, out of sorts or nostalgic or whatever. I love that movie. Fried Green Tomatoes. Okay. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is my um, Mushroom Field Guide, uh, Mushroom Field Guide by the Audubon Society that my friend Francie gave me. I read that book almost every day. Okay. Eleven. Favorite thing to do on a stormy day? Cook a big pot of stew or soup or something like that. I just love it and then just kind of nest all day. Um, and that's what I like to do. Twelve. Favorite thing to do when the weather is perfect? Get out and plant things. Fishing. I haven't gone fishing yet. I have not fished it in Tennessee at all. I need to get my license. Love to go fishing. Love to go camping. Getting out and working on the homestead. So that's what I like to do. Uh, Thirteen. Do you prefer the big city or the small town? Really neither. Um, I live near a small town. Um, I would prefer a small town over a big town, of course, but I would rather live outside of a small town. Um, so yeah, that's that's that about that. All right, number 14, what is the first thing you want to do when this virus is over or under control? Um, I'm not going to do anything different. I'm going to continue staying away from people, uh, staying out on my homestead, my beautiful property, as long as I can, for as much as I can. 
um, none of my behaviors are going to change because I, I'm still kind of a stay-at-home kind of a person more than a get-out-and-be-around-other-people kind of person. So that's going to stay the same. And now for the people that I'm going to tag. Now, I only tagged five because most of the people that I would have tagged have already been tagged. I think you're supposed to pick seven people. Um, I'm going to put the links to their channels down below so that you can go check them out. And like I said, Ghetto Van Adventures, Dave from Ghetto Van Adventures is who tagged me. So I'll put his link there too. And so here they are. Fancy from Finding Joy Through Serving. The next one is Lockstar Naturalist. And I hope I pronounced that right. It's spelled L-O-C-S-T-A-R. All one word. Then General Vlog Video. Then Old Camp Ranch, and then the Advocate Tiny House. Their links will be down below, so you'll be able to check them out. And you know what? Anybody else who has a YouTube channel, I want you to do this tag too. And then I want you to let me know in the comment section below if you did the tag. You leave your link, and I'll make sure that the link gets approved so that other people can see your, your video as well. So now I want to show you some of the stuff that I've gotten delivered to me over the last few days. I have got some great, great gifts. The first thing is these, this 12 pack of quart mason jars and they're the wide mouth kind. So they're going to be perfect for sauerkraut. I love to make sauerkraut. They're going to be perfect for pickled eggs, smaller batches of pickled eggs and I can make more and share them with people. And like the other ones, you can store stuff in them, rice, beans, all of that kind of wonderful stuff. So this is really amazing. And this comes from the same person who sent me the other jars and the little funnel things. So thank you so, so very much. These are awesome. And I got some more food containers. Now, I know this is not that climactic because you don't get to see my excitement when I initially opened them or when I came home and I saw a bunch of stuff sitting on my front porch. But... I was very, very happy to get these. There's a lot of cool sizes down in here, and this is my favorite because this is perfect to cook ramen in. I absolutely love ramen noodles, especially the shrimp. Just love, love, love it. Um, I will eat it every day, and I love it. You just put the little squares down in there, pour the water on, put the little lid on top, and voila, perfect ramen bowl. So this is great, and it's got another nice big bowl in it, and it makes me abundantly happy. So thank you very much, person who wants to remain anonymous. I really, really love this. This next box came from Art in California, and you're not going to believe this, you guys. See this right here? They are two more. <laughs> Let me get this open. Of these solar outdoor motion sensor lights. So I've got the one out front that Mr. Lucas put up for me. I'm going to be able to put these on each side of my house so that if there's any weird stuff going on um, it's the lights just gonna come on and it's gonna be so much better if I need to go out back at dark uh, I won't be so scared because this is gonna be out there so I'm gonna try and get these installed today so thank you art these are amazing I'm gonna have motion sensor detector lights all over my tiny house next okay remember how I got the um, the big stock pot and I got the the yeast and everything he sent me a wine siphon which really really helps in the process of wine making I've never had one of these before I've always wanted one it's so much easier to be able to siphon the wine out when you're racking it so that you don't have to tip it and get the leaves and whatnot and, the, and you know the stuff at the bottom um, all mixed up with the wine that you're trying to find. So I got me a siphon. This is so great. And he says, hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift from Art in California. And he says there's two other items sent from other merchants. I think I already got those items. But check this out, you guys. Check it out. Okay, first of all, if you don't know about winemaking, this is an airlock. This goes down, it's got a, a stopper with it, and it comes included with a little lid for, for the big wine jug. I'm going to pull that out in a minute. This, uh, you fill it kind of a little bit with water or whatever, and um, it allows the air to escape because as the wine ferments, it lets off gas and whatnot. And you want it to be able to escape without air getting back in. So I've got one of these. Normally I just put a, 
I put like um, a balloon over the top or I've even used surgical gloves over the top but now I've got a legit air stock so this is going to be great or airlock rather now look at this let's see if I can get this out with my oh there we go a gallon size wine jug I am ready to start making wine I have everything I need so art you are amazing thank you so much this really brightens my day oh my goodness I get to make some wine and last but certainly not least is this check it out it is a laundry sink it is a laundry tub, you guys. I've been using that little tiny tub, and it's just so hard to get a lot of laundry done at once. It comes with, well, it comes with hardware. There's some legs down in the bottom. It comes with a stopper. It comes with instructions. It even comes with a little thing that I can put, um, like a little faucet if I want to. But what I think I'm going to do with this, I would love, love, love to be able to put this in the tiny house. I just don't know if I have the room. So I'm going to look for a space in the shed that I can maybe put this in or maybe just outside. The, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to put this, but all I know is I'm going to put this together and I am going to find a, a good spot for it because I'm going to be able to get, you know what? I'm going to be able to get my quilts done. I'm going to be able to get my quilt and bedding done. <sighs> Thank you so much, person who wishes to remain anonymous. I love you. This is just so amazing. And um, I think I already told you, but it comes with little legs that you attach to it. So, yep, I'm going to put this together, and this is a game changer. This is a huge game changer for me. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, this video is already getting so long, but really, really quick, I want to show you what I planted down in the beds down by the street. It's very exciting. Here are the two raised beds down by the street. And first thing you'll notice is these little sticks. No, they're not trellises. They are just markers to kind of tell me exactly where I planted the seeds. So anywhere you see a marker as you're facing this side of the bed, the seed is going to be just off to the right of it. So right here, I planted watermelon in one, two, four different spots. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep all of the watermelon plants growing because I don't know. They, it just might be too much. In the center, I planted Brussels sprouts. And over here, as you come over to this side of the bed, it's still, the seed is going to be right off to the right of the little stick. Over here, I planted butternut squash. Um, now somebody said, don't plant your squash and your watermelon together because they'll taste like each other. That's okay. You know what? I love the sweetness of the butternut squash and the sweetness of the watermelon, so that should be just fine. Over here, in the middle, again, I planted Brussels sprouts. Now, I think I overplanted here because the plants are going to get way too big, so I'll probably have to thin them out. Over here, I planted... Gosh, summer squash. No, not summer squash, um, spaghetti squash. So I've got one, two, three spaghetti squash spots planted. I put several seeds in each one, but uh, of course I'll have to thin them out. And then over here is zucchini squash, just three different spots. So hopefully it will all grow. They've all been watered really nicely and it rained last night a little bit, so that's also awesome. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to take out at two spots of the Brussels sprouts here. But who knows? Who knows? Um, and over here, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to have to see how things grow. I'm really excited about these beds. And I'm glad I put the little markers because where I planted in my other beds, I just kind of was looking all over to see you know where things were coming up now I'll kind of have a better idea it's just off the right to each stake as you face the side of the bed so say some prayers for me you guys that things work out here and that I can find some more logs and maybe build some more beds because I still have seeds left awesome and that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.